Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make frozen fruit pops and this is what they look like. These are strawberry flavored and they're not only great tasting, but they're healthy and it's a perfect snack on a hot summer's day. So the, um, we will need strawberries. So you will need uh, one pound, which is 450 grams of, now I like to use frozen unsweetened strawberries and I mean, you could use fresh, but I find the good thing about using frozen is you know the quality is consistent. You know, they pick the strawberries and then they fr freeze them right away. So, you know, every time they taste the same. And there's a couple ways you can thaw them out. What I, what I like to do is I put them in a bowl the night before and then I just cover it with plastic wrap and put it into the refrigerator and then they thaw overnight. If you forget to do that, which sometimes I do, you can just leave them on the counter, just cover and leave them on the counter until they're, they're uh, nice and soft. And we also need, how we're gonna sweeten the uh, strawberries is with a sugar syrup or a simple syrup. And really what that just is, is water and sugar. So in a small saucepan, I'm going to put a half a cup, which is 120 grams of just, you know, water. And then I am going to put a half a cup, 100 grams of granulated white sugar. And that's it. I mean, if you wanted to flavor, you could put a little lemon or orange zest or lime zest, something like that. But I'm just going to leave it plain. And I'm just going to bring this to a boil. And I'm just going to boil it until the sugar has dissolved. That's all you have to do. Okay, so it's boiling, and as you can see, the sugar has all dissolved, so that's it. <laughs> What's great is, at this point, you could make this pro like up to a week in advance and then just put it in a covered container and, and put it in your fridge, and then you're good to go. But um, what I'm going to do now, because this is hot, uh, I'm going to let it cool down, and then we'll, when we come back, we'll finish up. So now we're ready to finish off our fruit pops. So um, my berries have thawed out. So I'm going to puree them. I'm doing it in my uh, food processor. If you had a blender, you could use that. One of those immersion blenders. Or if you don't have any of those, you could just mash it, mash the strawberries with a fork or even a potato masher. So now how much, like if you want, I'm gonna pure, when you puree your strawberries, you could like leave little chunks of fruit if you would like that in your uh, fruit pops or you could just really process it be till it becomes really uh, quite liquid either way chunks I don't want okay that looks good personally I don't mind having like little chunks of uh, strawberry in my fruit pops and it also tells everybody but the that these are actually made with real fruit so I'm just gonna put that in a bowl Now, if you didn't want to use strawberries, you know, this recipe is, you know, just a, like a general recipe that you could try other different types of fruit, berries, whatever. I mean, experiment. Or you could mix. Sometimes I like to use um, strawberries and raspberries or strawberries and blueberries. So once you get this down, you can just have fun with it. So now... I'm going to pour in our sugar syrup and I'm also adding some fruit juice a half a cup 120 grams now any type of any flavor fruit juice like you can again kind of go well what would I like to go with the uh, strawberry flavor you could just lemonade limeade apple juice orange juice or you know if you go to the grocery store you know there's all different flavors now I'm actually using a raspberry lemonade and that is it and you know what's great about 
I don't know whether you've ever made popsicles where you just take like a fruit juice and pour it into molds, which, you know, it's okay. But the problem with that is you end up after, when you start eating, you end up kind of sucking out all the, all the fruit juice and all you're left with is ice crystals. This, you won't have that problem. Fruit will be all the way through and they are wonderful. So there we have our mixture. So really, all that's left is to put it into our um, popsicle molds and to freeze. Now, um, this size popsicle molds, I get about eight popsicle or frozen pops. I mean, really, there's so many different sizes, shapes out there. So whatever you know you buy is is fine. And if you don't want to buy the molds. What you can do is you can actually buy like just little um, popsicle like wooden those little popsicle wooden sticks and then you could just even use a paper cup or you could use like a plastic uh, if you have some plastic cups in the house and then but what you have to do with that is so you fill your uh, cup up with the liquid put it into the freezer and then you got to then let them like start to crystallize like start to freeze partially and then once, once um, they're quite frozen, then you can uh, put your stick in there and then you want, it, want them frozen enough so the stick will actually stand straight up. So, and the other thing is, this is very good just as a drink. Sometimes I just have it like this. You could put a little sparkling water in there or if you dare, a little sparkling wine is very nice too. And it's really nice, nice strawberry flavor, just sweet and I think just perfectly. And then I have a little bit of that raspberry lemonade. It really is a wonderful drink. <laughs> so now we will, we're supposed to be making frozen pops here, so I will make those. So however you want to do it, I'm just going to put some in here. Like so and then just pour it into your molds almost to the top don't do it right to the top because it does your um, liquid does expand as it freezes so just like so and then I just have my input the way this works I just put them in like that and then you pop it into your uh, thing into the freezer uh, you know how long it takes typically what I do so I don't want to fuss is I just leave them overnight because then I know they're frozen it probably takes at least eight hours I would think but it depends on the size so I'm going to do that and when we come back we will try one okay so now to unmold your your um, popsicles or frozen fruit pops I typically just run the bottom under hot water some some people like to get a bowl and then just submerge it in there or another trick hair dryer <laughs> but usually i've already run them on i i just ran it under the hot water and there is our strawberry frozen fruit pop so give it a try mm. yeah so good it has such a true strawberry flavor and I like the little bit because I've used that raspberry lemonade. That kind of adds a little more flavor. So, you know, I find kids, of course, love frozen fruit pops. But, you know, adults do also when you're using real fruit. So, try them. And until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com.